so somebody in my comments was saying, oh, see, you stop lashing out at them, you stop attacking them, and it all just goes away. You're the problem. No, it didn't just go away because I stopped talking about it. It's just that you're not seeing it anymore because I've stopped talking about it. That doesn't mean that it has stopped. In fact, it's gotten much worse. Because for the days that I don't talk about them, they get angry and they get more desperate to force me to talk about them. So now where they used to be here on YouTube solely, they're following me everywhere. Yesterday, a man joined a Facebook group that I use and then made a post saying, oh, here you are, Mary. Here you are. We've been looking for you. Adonis Paul is sending people to find you. Just want to let you know I'm here because of Adonis Paul. Hi. It was a Bob's Burgers meme group. They're joining random meme communities on Facebook that I'm a member of to continue harassing me off of YouTube in places where I'm actually hanging out. So no, it's not getting better. It's just moving around. Once they stop being able to get my attention on, on Facebook, they'll move real life. And they'll start looking for me in real life to harass me. Because Adonis Paul is not going to stop. He has thousands of followers that know my address and he has told them to do whatever they have to to get rid of me. They're not going to stop. Regardless of whether I'm speaking about it, it's still happening. And it's increasing and it's getting more dangerous for me because the more I don't speak about it, the more they want to hurt me and force me to speak out because that's their entire game. They get paid if I react. So if I'm not reacting, they have to force the reaction. And if that means finding me in public and hurting me to keep me under the thumb of these cyberbullying creators who insist that all I have to do is leave, but then they know that I can't actually leave because their followers are going to follow me and drag me back and force me to live this life of torment for their entertainment. I'm still receiving emails threatening me that once Owl reads those transcripts, my life is over. Funny how your life can be over because somebody is going over the murder trial of somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody who's not me, but it's going to ruin my life because people are going to hurt me and kill me over it. How else would my life be over if one of her followers wasn't going to kill me? I didn't do anything. The trial wasn't about me. So how would go over, over these records end my life if it wasn't pushing one of her followers to end my life? That's literally the only way that my life is over because of these channels is because they're pushing me to kill myself and they're pushing their followers to kill me. That is why my life is over because of these channels. If these channels were not doing that, I would be allowed to have a life. I would be allowed to be safe. But because of these channels lying about me and using me and stealing from me and slandering me and threatening me, I live in constant danger from the thousands of people that they have been lying to about me. That's what's going on. It has not stopped. It has just recalibrated to find a better way to hit me.